Hi my loves, welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Anushka. So today I'm just gonna be playing with some new makeup that I got from Colourpop. Um, we're actually gonna do a neutral eye look, which I'm not really used to doing. And I thought I'd just talk a bit about mental health, how to deal with anxiety, the things that have helped me, and just how to get through just life in general when challenges are thrown at you. Whilst you're going through really bad situations, what are the things that you can do just to feel a bit better, you know? With everything going on at the moment, I think it's really important for us to not forget to take care of ourselves, our mental health. Yeah, we've got each other. Like honestly, my, my comment section is so positive and uplifting. I'm so, so lucky to have you guys. And um, a lot of you wanted this type of video. So I've jotted down some things that I feel like helped me when I was going through a rough patch a few weeks ago because now I'm like getting back to myself but at, in the moment and in the time you just feel like oh my god like what is life do you know what I mean you honestly feel like it's the end of the world things will not get better but it's the total opposite and yeah I'm just gonna talk a bit about certain things that I feel like you guys should try out if you are feeling that way. Today's post notification shout out is going to go to Liz Animal. Thank you so much for hitting that bell button. I really appreciate it. And if you guys want to get a post notification shout out, all you have to do is subscribe, press the bell button, and then let me know in the comments below when you've done so. Or you can just leave a nice comment. I've already done my brows, as always. And I didn't, I mean, I didn't do them perfectly, but I'm just liking that more effortless look with my brows rather than really like perfect carved out look um, and we're gonna start with eyes I'm just using a little bit of concealer maybe not a little bit a lot oh my god I'm just gonna blend this out so the palette we're using today is the Colourpop that's taupe pressed powder palette and it looks so beautiful but these are not the type of colors I usually go for so this is gonna be an interesting kind of look this shade right here so if there's one thing that you should know about me is that i'm a very emotional person like if i see i'm the type of person if i see someone crying i will cry along with them i'm just gonna blend this color into the crease so when i'm going through struggles and the hard time the first thing that i'm gonna do is literally cry the worst thing that i can do for me is like hold it all in and when i hold it in i feel like i feel worse so Sometimes you just need to cry it out. Crying does not mean weakness, okay? You just need to let it out, whether that's through a workout or um, crying. Like, you just need to, sometimes you just need to let it all out, even if you're not like the crying type. If you feel like you need to, don't like hold it in because I, I feel like that just makes me feel even worse. And that brings me on to the next point where working out really does help me kind of release that negative energy in me just just frustration or tension that i have and again when i don't work out i feel like i feel so tense so like so much energy is built up in me when you do a good workout you really just get rid of all of that i mean it's not it may, it may not be like that for everyone but it's definitely one to try because it does help me out one day i remember i was so frustrated i don't know why i was so frustrated but i was so frustrated guys i could literally kick a wall like literally and i went on the treadmill i kid you not i jogged for i don't know 30 minutes straight and i don't usually do that but because i had so much energy in me so much built up negative energy i was able to run that 30 minutes without stopping <laughs> that is insane that just shows that i needed to lay it all out I'm gonna use this shade here called Bedrock. I'm just gonna press this onto the outer corner. Oh my God, it's so dark. Just using a very light hand to make sure I blend this nicely. Cry it out if you need to, work out if you need to. Those are two great things that I recommend. Another thing that I do also recommend is meditation. I'm not gonna lie, before when I heard about meditation, I just thought it was just like, you crossing your legs and humming for an hour but it's not that i swear to you um you i pull up just like these videos on youtube and you just sit however you can I, I mostly do this before i go to bed honestly and you just lay there comfortably close your eyes and you just follow the voice and it's the most relaxing thing most freeing thing ever i remember the first few times i did it when i was feeling awful like it does help it helps it doesn't solve the way you feel but it helps 
and honestly when you're feeling at your lowest point even just a little help or a little boost is worth it you know i don't want to like point it out too much but i don't i'm gonna round it point it a little bit i'm gonna take that shade python again and i'm just gonna blend out the edges the next shade i'm gonna take is this really foiled light shade it's like a silvery color and this is called slated So yeah, definitely um, give it a go. The best description I can give of it is like you have this feeling, you just feel high, like, because you're taking these big deep breaths in, you just feel so relaxed, honestly. Um, so yeah, definitely recommend it, guys. If you haven't tried it, try those five minute ones on YouTube and you'll see what I mean. And I also love reading the comment sections of these meditation videos because it's such a positive space and you can see that other people are going through the same thing or like the same struggles and just going overall through a hard time and we will just come to this place to seek some kind of consolement I would say, I don't know if that's a word. Another thing that I did but I didn't realise I was doing until I read about it and that's just using positive affirmations. Basically just speaking to yourself and telling yourself encouraging words um, phrases that will uplift you will lift your mood up so for me if I'm if I do it all the time when I'm working out if I feel like I'm gonna give up I'm like you can do this you can do this and then like I find myself like continuing when I'm going through tough times I'm, I am I always talk to myself and I'm like you are strong you've got this you are a strong woman you've gone through more difficult things so this is nothing this will pass just speaking to yourself and using uplifting phrases you know and it does help i mean it helps me i i did it i did it even without re realizing that i was like we're so quick to bring ourselves down and say oh i don't look that good or like, i hate the way this looks on my face but we never really tell ourselves um that we're beautiful that we're stunning that our bodies are amazing that we're intelligent we're we're strong hard working and we just don't say these things to ourselves. It's it's, inter it's interesting to me because saying negative or just bring ourselves down is so much easier than uplifting ourselves. It's so weird. So now I do try to make the effort to bring myself up with these positive words um, of encouragement. Even like if times feel so lonely just don't forget you still have yourself you know you have yourself there you're a strong person whatever you're going through you can get through it and you just need to tell yourself that you know and once you do start using these phrases you see like the challenges that are thrown at you less of a challenge you see them less of a challenge because you are like, uplifting yourself you you're preferring you kind of are kind of like surpassing that level of where you feel like you can't take it, but you can. You can and you know you can. So the positive affirmations are kind of like telling your brain, telling yourself that you can get through this before you, you get to that low point of, you know, mindset. I'm not happy with my hair because I basically lay air dry and then I curl. I usually always dry my hair. Um, but I feel like because I've been putting less heat on my hair, it, it dries way better, it doesn't feel like straw. So the eyeliner I'm using today is the Tattoo Liner by Maybelline. That's one done. I'm sorry, I really can't talk when I do eyeliner. I'm now going to use some of this Urban Decay Heavy Metals eyeliner in the shade Glam Rock and I'm just going to use it to kind of like do a little crease line. I mean it's not part of like the taupe kind of like colour family but it's part of the cool tone side so 
I'm now going to use this Ico mascara. I've never tried the mascaras, I don't think. This is their Lash Alert mascara. I am not a fan of this mascara at all. I just don't like the way it's applying. It's a shame because I thought like everyone loves Ico mascaras, but this is not it for me. I'm just gonna wear my Tarty lashes today. God, these lashes are so good. I need to get some of more of these. These are in the Style TL4. Another thing that I wanted to mention was that when you're going through tough times, focus on the things that bring you happiness, whether that's watching Netflix, whether that's eating junk food, or if that's just feeding your body healthy foods. Um, what makes you happy? Is that playing a certain sport? Spending time with family, eating out. Do anything that you love doing. Remember the things that you, I know when you're just feeling really down, it's hard to think of those things, but try to remember the things that do bring you happiness and do, go do them, because it will help. So one of the things that I did was I watched a lot of childhood kind of like uh, uh, films. So I was watching Lilo and Stitch, Tangled, Frozen, all the things that kind of just remind me of my childhood. The reason I think I like that because it's just so innocent. It kind of like brings me back to the time of where we were just children and we just didn't have a care in the world, no problems in our minds and we just wanted to be children and watch cartoons all day and eat junk food and it just reminds me of that and I feel like that's why I love watching Disney films or just happy films in general when I'm feeling down. It just, it definitely, definitely helps. It's one of the main things that really helps me actually. You also need to remember, and this is a big one, that whatever you're feeling and whatever you're going through will pass and things will get better. You just need to tell yourself that a hundred times in the day. It will pass and things will get better. You'll be back to your own self. You'll find a way to get through it and yeah, anytime like I uh, and my friends are down or my family's down, I just say like this will pass. Things will get better. Remember the last year when we were so down about this and now we don't even we look back at it and we're just like what the hell? It this it will be the same situation. Do you know what I mean? I'm just gonna use some of my MAC Prep and Prime primer. This cat. This cat. Oh, Chichi. You just, just need everything to go your way, don't it? Hmm? Look at him meowing. What are these sounds? I'm going to be using my NARS Shade Glow Foundation today in the shade Tahoe. So when my cat's frustrated, he takes it all out on the cat tree. It's so, cats are so funny. And they honestly make my day. Um, and you know when I'm down, like um, my cats are just just make me feel so happy. Like even my sister's dog Luna. Like whenever you're down, you just go to them, and their energy just they're just always there, and they just have this unconditional love for you. Even though my cats don't show it that well, because they're like, what the hell are you doing? Get the hell off me! <laughs> but they're just always there, and they they love to like get. They just love you, you know, they want to be with you, even though right now he's begging me to lay him out. He always, like, when he hears my voice, he comes running back and it's just the cutest thing. My animals are just everything for me. I don't know if wearing this foundation is the best idea because it's very my summer shade. It's okay. Stop it. Definitely a bit more on the orange side, but we'll fix it. We'll fix it, guys. Another thing is you need to spend time with friends and family. Just spend time with people that uplift you, that are there for you when you need to talk to. And sometimes it just helps to talk about um, the way you feel with your friends and family and not have that fear of being judged. And that's why when people come to talk to me, I try not, I try my best not to judge and come from like a neutral standpoint and 
give advice if I need to and just be there to listen. I'm just using this Colourpop No Filter Concealer in the shade Medium Dark 3-4. I'm going to use my Real Technique sponge and I know things can get real bad sometimes, you know, even if it's like a teacher or someone at work that you really connect with and you feel like you can trust, talk to them if need be. There's a lot of like um, helplines as well which I will link in the info box if you do feel like um, you really need to talk to someone and you don't necessarily have that person around you and you just need to talk then the help is out there for you guys there's people out there that are willing to listen and give you advice and help i'm just going to use my laura mercier powder next i'm going to be using my physician's formula butter bronzer next i'm going to use this little milk uh, lip and cheek tint in the shade Rally. Finish off my skin, I'm going to use the Super Shock Cheek uh, Pearlized uh, Highlighter in the shade Out of Quartz. And I'm going to use a crease colour that we use, which is. Um, Python. Just gonna blend this out. And I just want to finish this video off by just saying don't ignore your feelings. If you're feeling a certain way, talk about it, cry it out, do whatever you need to help. Just make yourself feel better, you know? Do not ignore it, don't brush it under the rug. Talk to yourself, talk to other people, listen to music that soothes your soul. Meditate, work out, use positive affirmations. There's just so many things that you can do that are just little small things that you might not think will actually help, but collectively they will. They really do help. And I'm speaking for experience here. I'm just gonna put some mascara, although I'm not the biggest fan of this mascara at all. They did send me a glossy lip, ultra glossy lip in the shade Rattler, which I think will work. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Set my face with some Fenty Beauty, what's it, Dew setting spray. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Give this video a thumbs up so that it can reach many people out there that needs to hear this and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video.